Today we're hefting and feeding bees. Hello, I'm Griffiths, welcome to Gwynny Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, normally I've totally finished feeding by now, but there's something about this year, some of these hives are just turning the feed into, into brood straight away, they're not storing it. And I think that's down to the large amount of buck fast strain that I've now got on these sites. The Welsh black bees, they're not a problem. Pretty much fed them once and they've topped up on the ivy and they are up to weight already. But some of these buckfast strains just can't get them up to weight. And this is the third visit now to top up feed. Uh, normally, in normal years, once for the Welsh blacks, anything that's buckfussy type cross for me, two feeds, they're done depending on the year. But this year, I don't know what it is. I'm putting it down to. Um, the ultra prolific buckfast strain that I've got here where they are not reducing the cluster down fast enough so they're just munching through that feed instead of storing it hopefully this will be the last feed and everybody is going to be full but uh, it just shows if you're going by the old books feed in September over two weeks period and just leave your bees alone you're going to have dead bees in the spring. Make sure you heft and monitor their weight, especially when the autumn has been very mild. It's been very mild here in Wales. Uh, we've had some fantastic days and I think the bees are laying and rearing brood throughout that fine weather instead of knuckling down and getting ready for winter. So it just goes to prove that you need to heft your bees right up until it starts to freeze and then I normally recommend four to six weeks you have from there on. Just check the weight, I'll show you in the video what I'm doing and what you need to do. But just observing their weight. Obviously now I've got a mini wheelbarrow full of invert bee. This is the feed that I've been using for a few years. I actually sell this feed as well. So if you're ever wanting invert feed, then check my website. We're pretty competitive on prices and postage. And it's the syrup that I'm going to feed now because I want them to store this in the frame. And once we get that cold spell, we can start getting regular days of frosty weather, then the syrup is going to be no good. We're going to be moving on to fondant then. But we'll talk about that in another video. We're just feeding syrup today. Well, I'm starting to lose light here. It's the end of the day. The clocks have um, moved today as well. So we've got an hour extra light in the morning, but an hour less light in the afternoon or late evening so let's get into it so so all i'm going to do make sure there's no stone or anything on the top hand underneath there oh that's up to eight so that doesn't need any feed there's probably some welsh black bees or buckfast cross welsh black bees in there that is heavy enough now if you're not sure how to heft i've got a video on how to heft already on youtube take a look on that but as long as that feels really heavy then that's all right let's go into this polystyrene hive ah oh, super super light half the weight that one half the weight so that one needs feeding take these stones out the way ah oh, just as light again a little bit heavier not heavy enough That's my marker where I stopped last time. Get an S still. So every single hive here, apart from one, needs a third feed. Now I've never had that before, but I have invested and spent some money buying Buckfast Queens in this year. And uh, I think it's going to be down with it. Between the Buckfast bees laying exceptionally well, rearing brood, just being prolific with the mild autumn. They're a bit confused and they're laying through it. So hold on and uh, get some feed in them.
Now, just to show the difference in weight, now this was super light. Now that that's had a feed, now that is spot on. If they don't eat any of that syrup and store it straight away, I can tell that's going to be up to eight. So hopefully they store it. Well, that's it. That's what I'm up to these days. Going without adding extra feed onto these bees because you've got to look after your bees. It's up to you as the beekeeper to make sure they can go through winter with as much things going for them as possible. The winter can be long and hard, the better your bees are health-wise, feed-wise, the more chance you've got your bees surviving the winter. And it's always worth just coming down here, heft a couple of hives, and if they need that extra bit of feed, then you give it to them. Because what's extra five, six, ten quid now into the hive for them to come through the hive alive in spring, or you lose them, then you've got to buy replacements or make splits, etc. You're sacrificing honey and you're losing a lot more money at the start of next year rather than spending the money now. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload a new video every week. Thanks for watching.